David, not the result you would have wanted tonight, but you must have been pleased with a lot of aspects of that performance. What's your overall thoughts? Yeah, I think this is right. Um, we should split this um, the summary into uh, two different things. One is the result, yes, frustrating. Uh, the other one is the performance. Uh, ball possession and without ball possession, I think in, in both aspects, uh, the players have done well. Um, we gave Leeds a real go, a real game. Uh, we are absolutely competitive and uh, games like this will get decided by small margins. We have seen it three, four days ago when we played West Brom. Uh, quite tight game, quite even game. We were able to pull it in our direction today. Unfortunately, it wasn't the case. Concede a goal which we should defend much more better and obviously a big chance of Gavisara end of the second half we haven't used. Uh, and we were not ruthless uh, like we were in the last games uh, today and um, this is one of the big uh, reasons why we lost it. Uh, so congratulations to Leeds. Um, top team, super offensive individuals like we've seen. I think we kept them quite calm. Uh, second half, the opportunities uh, were more produced by our turnovers, uh, where we were not accurate on the ball. But when we were accurate on the ball, I think uh, everybody has seen second half. There were a period where we were really uh, pinned them in their final final third, without, to be honest, uh, having the final punch in, in in the box. But we look good. We look good, and uh, we keep going. Uh, result frustrating performance. Um, I'm absolutely fine with. And as you said frustrating result and you touched on the goal and that will be frustrating as well because it, you know you had opportunities to clear it and then you know Bamford's movement as well so the manner of the goal as well must irk you a little bit as well yeah what uh, what annoys me more rather than the cross or how we defended the cross or in the box was the situations before and there were I think four or five situations where we have to show more composure on the ball where we have to be more aggressive in the 50-50 battle uh, before the cross uh, and the ball come, came into the box and this is what we uh, should have done much more better and to be fair we said clear before the game two things we have to be top uh, this is one is ball possession to have the bravery and the composure on the ball and the other one is uh, being nasty and aggressive in this 50 50 situations and uh, over a long period of the game the players have done this fantastic uh, before this goal unfortunately not and uh, we got punished and, uh, this happens uh, we will learn from it and i think um, it was a it was a very good game, uh, to be fair. Leeds away from home never easy, especially not in this season. If you've seen their home record, uh, and we gave them a game, and this is exactly what we've done. And obviously, you're disappointed, and the players are disappointed. But when the dust settles and you actually think about you've pushed a, a team who will be right up there challenging for the top two as close as you have, you can actually take a lot of positives from this performance. Right? Yeah, but to be totally honest, uh, I think uh, recent performances. Uh, we are on a good level, and and the results obviously in this in this period as well. So now we we played Southampton, Hull, West Brom, Leeds. Next week we play Coventry. Um, in between Liverpool away. So um, very exciting period. Very good opponents uh, which we face. Uh, we uh, in in all the games uh, really tried uh, the best. Uh, big credit to the players. Uh, get some good results as well today. Not. Uh, but it's uh, that we performed again and that we stick to and stuck to our our idea of football in ball possession and in, in terms of defending. And as I said, then you have to be ruthless. Small margins decide. Today they were against us, and uh, unfortunately, this is why we lost. Just got more if I can, David. John Rowe has he got a little knock there? He seems to come off and was getting a bit of treatment. Yeah, he, it seems to be uh, he has uh, a problem with his hand. Uh, we have to assess uh, how serious it is. Um, but he has uh, a hand injury and there we have to make for sure uh, a scan uh, tomorrow. Uh, and Josh Sargent, you know, the fact you're able to nudge him out again, I don't know exactly how many minutes, but he's getting to the point where he's not going to be too far away from being able to go 90 minutes. Yeah, um, this is the truth and uh, the big step for him was to start two games now in a row in a short period of time and uh, both of them he played uh, extend minutes, uh, which is fine. Um, we have to still be uh, careful with him and uh, make sure that we improve his fitness level, make smart decisions uh, on him, especially for Sunday, because obviously, as I said, then comes Coventry. And uh, then we have another uh, week with a midweek game, uh, the week after the Coventry week.
well, there's a clean week and then we have this midweek game. So we have now time to work on his fitness level and uh, make sure that he, as soon as possible, is, is a thought, uh, Josh Sargent, which we all together love. Anybody else? Yep. Thank, Thank you. you.